kids, especially in this neighborhood on the south side, working class families, so the parents are at work and kids are kind of left to find activities or get home on their own. The center is a place where kids can come, it's really like a safe haven for the neighborhood. So they can come here between the hours of three and five or three to seven, get tutoring, get some athletics, get some mentorship here, be around people who are focused and you know trying to make something of themselves and kind of stay away from all the negative distractions that can sometimes uh, kids can fall victim to when they have a lot of idle time. Good. Oh. Good job. We find just sheer come in the building, be in the building as a way to you know, prevent violence, uh, prevent accidents from happening, wrong place, wrong time, all that stuff can be prevented just by having a safe haven in a very central location in different parts of the city. Some of the challenges kids face in the classroom, they show up on a tennis court. And in this environment, because we see them um, every day, and we see them on a one-on-one -on -one basis, not in a classroom of 30, we're actually in a almost a better position to have a permanent impact on this kid on some of the other developmental needs other than just a tennis court. I don't slack off at school, but sometimes if I'm up late doing work, I, I would just like give up and go to sleep because I'm too tired, but like I just think about what Kamal says sometimes. Good job! And I apply it and I get more stuff done and I'm more productive in my life. Kids in our program are constantly told that if they commit to the process and they put in the effort, then they will get a college scholarship. Every kid is going to be faced with a bill after they graduate high school, right? They're going to be faced with, how do I pay for year one? And if I find a way to pay for year one, how do I pay for year two? So what I'm most proud of is that the, we've given the kids four-year opportunity to get an education, right? And we send them off to an environment where everybody is incentivized to help these kids succeed. Good. Much better. Good. My name is Christopher Morris. I am 10 years old and I go to Brevard A. Black Medical School. I wanted to be a pro since I was like a little guy. And um, it's been my dream since then that I've been pushing and working hard for it. If you're down, it's just a game, so you know, just keep rising above. I learned to be more aggressive and work harder each day. Every great inventor, every great scientist, every great business person, they enjoy doing what they do, right? And so we want the kids initially to have tons of fun and then put pressure on them when we see them kind of slipping or, um, you know, not being very purposeful in what they're doing, right? But early on, the kids have to love it because if they love it, you know, they'll want to be here more often. The more often they're here, the safer they are.